Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. Well, another day of massive movements in gold and silver so far in this near midday report. We have silver now comfortably above $27 an ounce, at least for now. And gold has surpassed the $2,050 level. That's right, all this news coming on reports of higher oil prices a weaker dollar, and a propped-up stock market. Yes, indeed. People have asked, well, what's going on with the stock market? Dow Jones Industrial Average, the S&P, are both up. A lot of that is being propped up by, well, money that has been injected into the system by the Federal Reserve. The precious metal markets are reacting. Why? Well, because of all this liquidity into the markets. And essentially, it's like a steroid injection. This is, in a sense, a repeat of what we saw uh, between 2010 or 2011 and 13 and more. Quantitative easing rounds one through three. Actually, that started back, I guess, in 2008. But nonetheless, just in the past few months, we have seen silver essentially, um, you know, move up. Well, well, shoot, well, I guess um, 60 plus odd percent. Right now, the, the uh, silver to gold ratio has now narrowed to 76 to 1. So silver is starting to finally perform and uh, with still some ways to go and narrow the gap between uh, gold. Uh, and it's about time, really, for many of us who have accumulated this metal. But why is that? Well, fear about the dollar and the situation going on around the world with covid we have also uh, geopolitical tensions with China and other factors that are coming to play in various different ways that were happening and occurring before COVID with the repurchase agreements and the like. You know, these things are going to have to come back to bite us at some point and at some level. By some measures over the last three months, the dollar has lost the same amount as a percentage wise as has disappeared from this particular Silver Eagle coin. That's right. And I'm remiss when I do these midday reports uh, while I'm taking a break at work. Uh, I should probably bring another silver coin with me or something because it does seem like uh, you're looking at the same thing, but this is a very special coin. I'll link to it at the end screen of this video for the story behind it if you've not seen that video yet. But I... This coin, over the course of 30 years, has lost 10% of its silver content. And the dollar, over the last three months, has lost 10% of its value. Now think about that for a moment as we see these prices start to move upwards. And it gives you some sense and idea why gold and silver are rising. And at the rate that they're rising, at the level they're rising, with the gold to silver ratio... Uh, uh, trending much higher earlier on at uh, in March at 126 to 1 and now we're sitting at 76 to 1 and uh, but gold is surpassed record levels on the nominal price but inflation adjusted uh, we still have a ways to go for gold and we have a longer ways to go for silver to reach its record highs but at the rate things are going now, it would not surprise most many of us to see silver top as high as well. But I think a lot of that is going to depend upon industrial demand um, moving forward as the economy recovers or not. And also physical demand for the metal. Um, and uh, that is something that is going to, or paper demand too, we have to take that into account as well, ETF demand as well. Fascinating times we are living in for sure. Um, now, does this mean that the metals are just going to continue to go up? No. Many people are uh, predicting a pullback as the markets tend to get overheated during these times. And so we'll see if that is going to happen. It is uh, very, very interesting times we live in and they could pull back. Be prepared for that, folks. Because when the markets do get overheated, people do sell off 
and take profits. And uh, because really, when you think about it, yo, though the dollar has lost some value, cash is still king, folks. That's right. And um, you want to have some cash on hand as well. Um, even in a falling dollar situation. Um, and that's what's happening. The world still operates in that market. You know, people say, well, the dollar is about to collapse or what have you. Well, I thought that back in 2013, which is why I cashed out my IRA essentially to buy gold and silver. But the dollar is more resilient than you think. Do not be fooled. Do not think otherwise. That's a relatively unpopular opinion in this community. Um, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I, um, you know, but I hope I'm not wrong. Uh, we need a, a restoration of normalcy, and uh, and we'd like to see the economy recover if at all possible. But the dollar is utilized um, as a form of exchange uh, for uh, sixty percent of the nations around the entire world. Uh, so let that sink in. It's in everybody's best interest that the dollar succeeds, at least to some extent, even if they have a little less faith in it during these times of tribulation here, not only around the world, but in the United States, because we have also a bit of civil unrest as well that is playing into the markets as well. So there you have it. Where will the metal prices go? No one really knows. I've sort of stopped making predictions. I did predict $20 of silver by the end of the year. I guess my prediction for that came a little bit true, or many of you are predicting that, uh, and more bullish than I were, uh, certainly, as time has moved on. Now, uh, in this time of rising, rapidly rising prices, it is not uncommon for people to be bullish on precious metals. And it seems to me I've seen very, uh, very bold predictions on uh, gold and silver throughout. Um, but keep in mind, that a pullback could happen anytime soon. I'm still bullish on precious metals, make no mistake. But I want to be realistic. And for those of you who are in a buying spree because of this, be prepared for a potential pullback. That is the thing to consider here and to take into account into consideration. But silver, above $27 now. Silver to gold ratio as sitting around 76 to 1. Gold at 2050. The markets keep moving, and they're moving fast. So there you go. There's your sort of midday report here. I can't promise I can do this every time there's breaking news, but I've had a little opportunity here. I wanted to share a little bit of my thoughts on this. And I would like to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch. And I encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.